Hi friends, what's this window? This is a simple window only with a slider and one image is there, plus two net one image is there at the top. Now I can reduce these values. Moment I am reducing these values, this window is becoming transparent. Or rather I am controlling the alpha value. Here it is, the alpha value I am controlling at line number 10. So this, when I am reducing, it's further. Now it is half transparent. So you can see the background, whatever the code I have written that is already visible. So now I can further reduce it. I can make it completely transparent also. I may lose control over it. That is why at li uh, line number 16, we have used the escape and to close the window and you can see this starts with one and once I, it is reduces and it comes to zero at the minimum value and at a resolution of 0 0.05 let's just take it to the minimum let's start from this basic template we are just imported uh, kinter and we have started using this geometry you just see though the uh, width and height is 415 200 these two values tells us where the window should open. You can, if you don't want, you can remove it also. And these three lines just place a image. This is also not so important. You can remove this image if you don't want the image to be placed. And now we'll start uh, positioning the scale. But before that, the most important part is we'll bind it to our escape event. My underscore w dot bind. And I am, I am saying inside that connect it to escape. Now this escape button is connected, but okay, let me just give the command lambda e underscore, this is my underscore w is my parent window. What it should do is quit. So with this, I can able to escape the one, but I will not use the escape. You can use it. I'll just copy this line. Instead, I will use button three means my r mouse right click, it will be close this button three why i am doing this because my screen recording will stop that is connected to the escape so i am commenting this in your case you can use escape or any other button combination so that's one thing now let's just connect a slider first so then we'll test it also my scale my scale is my slider i'm just giving tk dot scale now my parent window is my w now from where from it should start here i am giving 0, 0.0 then comma 2 what is the 2 here is 1.0 fine that's all then how i will start okay we'll see that now i am giving resolution resolution i am putting it to small sorry small value 0 0.5 no 0, 0.5 so you can change it to whatever value you want now let me just uh, come to next line it's better slightly space i am giving orient it is horizontal because by default it will take vertical okay you if you want you can change it also horizontal now slightly i am giving the length also length equal to 200 and command i am not writing the command part let's just run it once and test it then we'll write the command because i have not written the function so far so i am saving this running once where is my window let's see yeah. here is my window where is my scale okay i have not placed it on the grid so it's not visible let me place it my scale dot grid because without this it will not be visible row equal to two and column equal to one my image it you can see here row is one column one here it is row two and column one so it is just below that so once i placed it let me just run once and see how it come here it is so i am i can change the value so it is one and i can reduce it to zero but by default it should open at a higher value we'll see that we'll set the value to full so we'll say my scale my scale dot set i'll set it to 1.0 that's the maximum value this so moment i open it this particular line will be executed because this is not inside any function so it will directly execute it and the slider will remain at the full value so i can just run it once and see where it is yeah you can see slider is at the full value and i can yeah close it by i have used the right mouse click because i have set it at line number 13 so i closed it now let me add the command to this 
so I am saying command equal to my update this is the function I have to write my UPD but I have so far not written that's why it's showing like this and this is the function it will execute it whenever I am changing my scale or whenever I am slider I am using it that time so let me just declare that now my update UPD now here it is but I have to receive some value that I am receiving this is the slider value now here I will say my underscore W now this is the my parent window attributes attributes which attribute now it is minus alpha this is what value it will get now I have to set it to a value based on my uh, slider or my scale value so my scale is what how I will read my scale value my I will say my scale dot get that's all now my scale value is available and that will change so let me just give some break so you can understand it up to this is my scale okay now once the scale is changes its value this command will execute will trigger the my function my update my upd here it is that these two lines will get executed this function and this value will change it now i am just saving this let's run and see once here it is fine so what you can we can do is i can just slide it you can see it is transparent and uh, now it is half transparent I can move it around and place it wherever I want and I can further reduce the value also now what happens once I reach the end I will lose the control over it I will close it by I am just clicking the my uh, right mouse click so I am closing it I have closed it now one more thing I can do but I will not able to show a demo to you you can just see it my underscore w dot override suppose i don't want that top bar to be visible let me just place it override direct now this will remove the top bar by which i am dragging it the window so i am setting it to true but i am commenting it because otherwise again that uh, you can check this one also that's all friends so this is a small script quite useful you can use it suppose you want to show your logo at the beginning and all all this thing you can use it so further experiment with this i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we upload the videos and if you have any doubt suggestion question any ideas use the comment section below to post it and thank you for watching